I read about it. Oh, it's really good. I drew it. And now it's time to build it with Lego. This Lego jet was built to go three times the speed of sound. But can my version actually survive an extreme test? Or will it fall apart? If it breaks, I have to rebuild everything. But first, here is what's coming up. In this video, I'll show you how I built my supersonic Lego XB70. Designing the wings, landing gear, and stabilizers, and overcoming tricky build challenges. Even though it's a bomber, I couldn't resist adding a few minifigures. Then, we'll test its first flight, make some upgrades after the crash, and see how my Lego XB70 compares to the real one. The wings and the landing gear. I'm gonna change this plane completely and turn it into a brand new XB70 Valkyrie. All right, first I have to transform my Lego Concorde into an XB-70 Valkyrie. The real jet was built to fly at Mach 3, faster than a missile. The landing gear is tricky. The real XB-70 had a complex retractable system, but I had to improvise with Lego. And here was another challenge. The wings on the real XB-70 had structural issues, and my Lego version had the same problem. To stabilize it, I added the two vertical stabilizers, making sure they were strong enough to hold up. All right, final piece in place. So technically, this is a bomber, but I had to add some passengers. What's a Lego build without a crew? And then Dan showed up. And well, uh, let's just say things didn't go as well. Well, he certainly did break the stairs again. He's gonna stand in the back. Okay, there we go. The Valkyrie's in the upper position, so I'm gonna release it, then we can test it. Okay. This thing looks so cool. Okay, now let's test it. Almost hit the side of the international airport nearby. It overshooted the runway by nearly a thousand feet. Nothing was broken, which was super good, considering this plane could go Mach 3. Oh, it grounded so bad. It's going past the sun. Uh, why was this jet so special? <laughs> well, the XB-70 was designed to be the fastest bomber in the entire world. It could fly at 2,000 miles an hour. It had six massive jet engines, which is more than the Concorde and the SR-71 Blackbird combined. But there was a problem, and we'll get to that later. First, let's see if our LEGO version can survive it. Yeah. Uh-oh, the landing gear isn't working. Just like the real XB-70 had stability issues. This is without its landing gear. It kind of does a billy landing like this. After the first test flight, I've made a few changes. Meet our new pilot. Let's call her Sally. She's ready for takeoff. I've removed the wingtip connectors, adjusted the canards, and added a refueling connector. Final step is elevate the droop nose. Snap it on, and then it's done. Okay, let's test it to see if it chip. We've done a full two notches. Two notches is all we need. The last step is to put a gray piece over here because that looks really ugly. And then snap. There. Changes that I made today. I took away the wingtip connectors. I didn't really want them anymore. I changed the pilot, which is now Sally. Moved the canard up one brick. So I added this fuel line and tug connector. We are going to be converting one of Jamie's ambulances into a tug for the XB-70. We also added this streamlined boat body hull. We also adjusted the landing gear. We moved the droop nose up one step. I added this US. Air Force sign mosaic using flat one by one pieces. It's definitely not the best, but in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. My Lego XP70 is different about this from the real XP70. It has a droop nose. I inherited this from the Concorde. I just thought it would look cool. Of course, it has long sonic boom in the front. And then it also has the unique XP70 canard, which is in the front. I also got the delta wings and the landing gear. Well, really just the delta wing frame. <laughs> and I got the two vertical stabilizers with this extra thing. I don't have the flaps or the tips. I only have four um, J93 turbojet engines. This one's not only for the Air Force. It can also carry a few people. These people are getting the ride of their life. The underpowered 
dog cry. Okay, so the aircraft's taking off, and then there's not enough power. It's coming close to the end of the runway. He really pushes full throttle on the engine, and then the only the front landing gear goes up, and then it dies. That was an awesome build and test. Do you think our LEGO XB70 passed the challenge? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more LEGO and aviation fun.